We've been doing this for a little while now, so we kind of knew what to expect when we opened up the reported inbox in the week leading up to Halloween. We knew we'd see some scares and some smiles. We've predicted plenty of pumpkins and figured on some fall foliage. And we were right. We got what we expected, generally speaking. But we're still surprised and impressed by what you sent. Some of you clearly go all out to celebrate Halloween, transforming your homes into haunted houses. You throw parties to show off your creepy creativity. Even your food trays are frightening. Of course, Halloween is nothing without the costumes, and you showed off a bunch. We saw lots of cute kids, mostly cute kids, in fact, showing off their trick-or-treating attire, including Eleanor and Olivia as twin Rapunzels. There were runners dressed up for the Wicked Good 5K in New Haven, dogs decked out for the holiday, like this costume we do, and a couple of freaky faces we may not forget. You sent pictures as you picked your pumpkins, and then you showed us what you did with those picked pumpkins. We saw some pretty clever carving in all the jack-o'-lantern photos you sent in. And we got a few shots like this, hollowed out pumpkins filled up by little people. Riley's got a personalized pumpkin, Kaysen's in a pumpkin basket, and Emily is playing peekaboo with the apples. Little Eliana isn't doing anything just yet. She was just born early Halloween morning. We expect this as a popular costume this year. Several of you sent shots celebrating the world champion Red Sox. We also got team photos of some successful fall ball teams. And Alice showed us how these kids from North Brantford celebrated an undefeated season. Ernie showed us a few classic cars filled with donated food. Radio USA showed their pink power. Talk about pink power. Crossfitters in New Haven were lifting barbells for boobs. Finally, as we come to the end of the colorful foliage season, a reminder of what's just around the corner as Kathy saw New Haven's Christmas tree making its way to the green. 